Hey, how you doing? This is Kitch, and you are watching me play Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. Welcome to the start of a brand new series where uh, we're going to be trying this game again. My last series was going quite well, but then something quite tragic happened, and it wasn't your normal roguelike uh, <laughs> stupid death. <laughs> it was uh, your, your typical roguelike uh, game uh, kerfuffle that, that kind of messed things up. And, uh, I wasn't aware that, uh, you could go back to GitHub and get specific versions. The updater only goes back a couple of versions. So yeah, that game was, was lost, but I'm, I'm ready to try it again. Um, Mini Pearl is coming back, but she's no longer a punk rock girl. Um, she, she's actually a bride. Um, and, and I'll get into kind of the, the thought behind this. Um, I'm wanting to do this scenario. I think I want to start with a large building scenario. Um, this is where we're going to start on the rooftop, and uh, I, I chose the apartment building. I thought it might be kind of a, a fun little start. Uh, instead of starting in the evac shelter, I know that's a, a good starting place, but uh, it's, um, the, uh, you know, just kind of mixing up the start a little bit. Um, I did go with Bride. Now, whenever you're selecting a profession starting out, um, you get bonus points starting out. Uh, your survivor just starts zero. That's middle of the, of the road. We get something like a, a tweaker with a amphetamine withdrawal or the prototype cyborg. That gives us two points. And uh, then we get into the level here of one points. I was actually going to do like the shower victim start that starts out with nothing but like a towel and a bar of soap because uh, I thought that would be, <laughs> you know, kind of fun. Start from nothing uh, with tailoring skills and stuff like that. It's, 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 it's a free point, basically. Um, unless you have a very unfortunate start. But I got to looking, you know, um, a one point, a pill head uh, with a opiate withdrawal, uh, alcohol withdrawal, uh, crack cocaine withdrawal. These all give you just one point as well. And it, it doesn't seem like these are very well balanced. And you get down here to the musician, uh, earns one point, but you get bartering and speaking and uh, a whole bunch of equipment, a guitar, clean water. And that earns a point as well. It didn't make sense. And, and I went with Bride for reasons that uh, may become a little apparent here soon. Uh, but yeah, Minnie Pearl was going to get married. Um, it, it, leave the punk rock lifestyle, but uh, something something terrible happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'll just go to the end here. Um, as far as stats, I went middle of the road. I uh, still don't have a, a full a full grasp on on where where those stats need to go um i went with flea footed and parkour expert uh because i do like having the speed van advantage i'm kind of uh noob-esque at this game i guess you should say uh so i like having that speed advantage um uh trigger happy uh heavy sleeper uh squeamish uh flimsy oh uh, well the first three are pretty much like free points uh they're very easy to get around um, they're not really that negative. Uh, the flimsy one, um, the the health stuff, it really hasn't been that big of a thing for me. Uh, that might bite us in the end, but we got a lot of bonus points for that. I thought it was totally worth it in the end. Uh, rigid table manners and nearsighted. Uh, rigid table manners just kind of sounded uh, kind of like a role-playing thing. Um, so I made her a gourmand and stylish. Uh, stylish seemed to pair well with the uh, bride uh, profession. Uh, because the clothing we start out with will give us a nice little um, a boost. Uh, night vision, of course. Uh, gourmand, um, uh, we get extra morale from eating certain foods. You can eat more, things like that. It's 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 gonna. Uh, we'll see if it's a good trait. And I figured the rigid table manners would kind of kind of go with the stylish and gourmand. I, I just it had something in my in my head. Um, since we are starting in an apartment rooftop, I didn't feel like I might be able to norm grind out my normal skills like I usually do, so I went ahead and took those. I had a whole bunch of extra points uh, due to the bonus points that we had. So, um, yeah, that's the start. Um, I We are on 0.e. We are playing on the stable version, the newly released stable version of Cataclysm. Uh, there's been a lot of changes since the last time that I played, and there's been a lot of changes since, but I, I figured I would, I would just do this one on the stable. Um, it'll be stable and uh, if something crashes i should be able to access it fairly easily um so that's where we're at um let's go ahead we will roll the intro and um uh, eat some fudge banana swirl and travel around the world with uh well i guess she's actually our our bride girl now but still punk rock all 
right, so we've uh, started in a pretty fortunate spot. Uh, we are in basically the stairwell. Um, outside of this door is going to be the apartment rooftop and probably going to be zombies up there. I'm uh, almost certain of it. Um, there's other places you can start on the apartment rooftop that are not nearly as well. Let's just go ahead and uh, see what we've got here. It looks like we're in the town of Oxbow. And uh, we got some houses nearby, a cemetery. That's good news. We do have a hardware store right there, which is nice. Uh, pawn shop, electronic store. What's this? Public works. That's um, that's good. Uh, pharmacies, yes. Another hardware store. And uh, we do have a farm down there. And uh, what's that, a dairy? No, that's a dump. Um, not quite what I was looking for. I would like to get in looking, um, in into like doing some farming or something like that in this series. It was something that kind of perked my interest. Um, as far as the world and map settings go, um, I do have custom fonts installed for the map as well as the menus on the side. I think it's source code, source code pro, uh, font installed on the right hand side on the menus. Um, I don't quite remember what the the font is, but it's a square font. So um, if you do the square font, you get a nice square map. It's a little bit easier to read. Um, world settings are pretty much standard. I do have all the NPCs on. I increased their spawn rate by quite a bit. I think it's like at three or something like that. Um, all the other settings are pretty much default. Um, the city sizes, I think were bumped up a little bit. And I did install the no fungal mods as well as the no rail stations. Um, no fungal mods, uh, just the fungus is kind of annoying. And uh, the uh, the rail stations, they don't seem like they were complete and they take up a lot of space. And uh, I just figured we'd, we'd play without them. Uh, but let's uh, go ahead and get started. Uh, do I wanna go ahead and open this door and just, just take a peek? Might as well. Yeah, there's a, there's a zombie right there. Uh, let's go ahead and close that. And uh, let's go ahead and take a step down here. Just kind of uh, slowly go out here and just peek around the corners. Um, it appears like everything's clear. All right. Um, there's been some changes since the last time I played. I do know that... Um, the makeshift crowbars can no longer open these doors, and I believe all these doors are locked. They are. Uh, but I believe we should be able to smash them down. Let's go ahead and, like, knock on some of these doors. Just to hear if there is anything else on the other side. All right, uh, seems seems fairly clear down here. Let's go check up here. Ah, there we go, right there. That little uh, yellow icon right there indicates noise that I'm hearing. Uh, so there is probably a zombie up there. Uh, let's hope he'll forget about us and let's uh, try to bash in one of these apartment doors down here and see if we can see if we can get in. Um, at least I think we could knock them down. <laughs> I did a, a test game a while ago. Um, let's try over here. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and catch our breath. I did a test game. It wasn't. Uh, it was. Uh, it was a month ago. Whenever I was getting ready to do this series, and that that actually worked a lot quicker. Um, I'm just glad that it worked. All right, let's grab um, a plank. All right, and let's uh, see what we have here. There is a top hat. Um, it's a poor fit. Um, it has this right here, the very fancy tag on it. Uh, there's fancy and there's very fancy. Uh, so that actually gives us a morale boost. Uh, let's see. I forget how do you check your morale. 
Um, probably should have figured this out before. That would have been a very wise thing to do. Um, here are the key bindings. Um, if you are new to the game and uh, would like to... Uh, yeah, okay, V, V, view, view morale. All right, so we're getting a plus 17 for our morale right now. And that is because we... 99% of that is because we are stylish. Uh, we get a stylish for our uh, wedding dress, I believe. It's very fancy. Uh, we have, uh, what else do we have? Dress shoes. Our dress shoes are just fancy. And we're wearing a wedding veil, which is also very fancy. Very fancy. So, yeah, these are giving us a morale boost. I don't think we're going to be keeping that. I just thought it might be fun. There's jewelry and things like that that we'll be able to find. And, uh, you know, she's still punk rock. So um, having lots of pairs of earrings on and stuff like that is 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 not not unrealistic for, for this particular character. Um, let's see. I do have a purse. And that gives us, um, five extra liters of storage. All right, so that's, uh, something to keep in mind. Um, uh, breaches? Oh. All right, not a lot of really good stuff in here. A uh, sewing kit, uh, that's a very good thing. Let's go ahead and grab that. And we'll probably hole up in one of these apartments. I'm not quite sure. There's a lot of good uh, food and stuff in there. Very good. There's a pot. Uh, circular saw. Okay. Is that a glass sheet? Yeah. All right, we should be able to open this door a little bit easier now that we have a plank. Yeah, there we go. Let me in. Uh, charcoal, three liter glass jar. That'll be good for getting some water. Uh, what's the bunny? I forget the bunny. Is that just the talking doll? Yeah, okay. Oh, and there's the uh, standpipe maintenance log. Uh, there's a chance that one of those can have a, a recipe for some mutagen in it. Probably not doing a lot of mutagen in this run. I think I kind of want to uh, focus on base building, but you know we'll see. Um, we'll we'll see how it ends up. Uh, duct tape, very nice. All this stuff is looking good. Um, let's see. We've got a lot of light down here. We've got a corner apartment. Oh, something with the clothes has changed. All right. Uh, so you used to hit close in the direction that you wanted to close, and it looks like it does that if you have more than one options, but if you don't have more than one, it just closes. Okay, that's something that's going to take a little bit of getting used to, but I think it should work. All right, let's get rid of the huff and puff, and uh, let's set up in this general area. Let's see, let's grab that and move it over here by this chair. Uh, so we can eat right here and not suffer a morale penalty. Uh, let's come up here and smash that. That should give us a pipe. There's no real need for us to create a makeshift crowbar now because they're they're fairly worthless now due to due to some of the changes that came through. Uh, but we'll go ahead and tear down curtains. And gather up some supplies here. I've already, uh, I've already increased up my uh, tailoring and uh, fabrication uh, skills through the uh, through the start. So that should give us a. Uh, we should be able to create a. Let's see. What do we want? We want a wooden needle. Um, can I not create a wooden needle? What do I need for a wooden needle? Wooden needle. I need a tool with cutting. All right, I don't have a tool with cutting. Um, okay, can we make a spike? We can make a spike. 
And with a spike and with a thread. Let's see, do we have to take apart a thread? I feel like we do. Okay, and taking apart that string, that'll give us uh, some short string, and we should be able to make a makeshift knife. Yeah, two short strings we needed for that. All right, now we should be able to make our wooden needle. Wait a minute, we don't need a wooden needle. Uh, we got a sewing kit. Um, I completely forgot about that. It is right there and it is ready to go. So we, we just didn't need any of that at all. Um, all right, let's go and make, uh, let's go under the armor section. Oh, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to cut up some clothing. Uh, we're gonna have to cut up some sheets. Uh, so that, uh, the, the knife was actually needed. Um, no, I don't want to cut up the long string. I want the, just the sheets, please. All right, and uh, let's cut up some of the rags to get just a little bit more thread, and let's look at our armor list now. Um, I did start a little bit early. Um, I think it starts on day 60 by default, uh, which takes us kind of toward the end of spring. I started it at day 30, uh, which is late enough to still be str spring. It's cold outside, but it's it it's also not everything's frozen uh, like, like it used to be when you started at the beginning of spring. Uh, so I think that puts us in a, a pretty good spot to give uh, give us a little bit more time to uh, get set up before we do head to a farm if we do want to do some farming. Uh, so we'll still have some growing time. At least that's 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 the thought. Um, all right, so let's make um, let's make some stuff here. Let's make uh, some long underwear bottoms. Uh, let's make some long underwear tops. Uh, we should be able to make a balaclava, I believe. Let's make one of those. Let's see, that'll be our head. And uh, let's make... A travel pack. Uh, how far are we along in tailoring? Uh, we're tailoring three. Yeah, let's let's go ahead and make one of those so we'll have a little bit of inventory space. Uh, travel pack is 30. A duffel bag is 35. Um, there's one that's uh, at the next level that's a little bit better, but um, I think I think it'll be okay for that. Uh, we can use the thread. We can use the rags. We can use the. I mean, we can use the long string. Uh, let's let's do that one. All right. Uh, and let's wear some of this. Uh, let's grab the long underwear, the long underwear top, the balaclava, the travel pack. And, uh, oh yeah, look at that. We are looking good there. <laughs> um, all right, and uh, what's the, the layer key again? It's been a couple, it's been a couple, it's been about a month since I've played and I've, I've forgotten all the uh, inventory keys already. Um, there's a button that you press in order to look at your clothing layering. W is where the item. Um, here's another look in case you missed it last time. Here's some of the common key binds. Uh, relayer armor and clothing. It's the plus key. All right, so we've got a conflict with the purse and the travel pack, as well as our bra and our long underwear top. They both cover the same area. Okay, so we need to get rid of one of those. Um, and I'm guessing, what do you cover? What does that? What does that say? Okay, it's all close to my skin. Um, I wonder if we were getting that before. 
Hmm. Are we getting a bonus for the um, stockings? Got a curious. No. Uh, let's drop those. No, not the cell phone. The stockings and the bra. And let's take another look. Okay. Uh, we'll take off our underpants and uh, let's drop the purse as well. All right, that puts us in in good shape. Um, and uh, I want to look at one thing: uh, the makeshift crowbar. I typically use that as a small a starting weapon. Um, it's not really going to help us much, uh, but it does have a bash property of twelve. Okay, are there any other weapons we can make that are better? Cudgel. Nail board, nail knuckles, and a two by sword. And that has a two hit bonus of one, which I don't think. I don't think the makeshift crowbar has. It has a two hit bonus of two. All right, well, let's go ahead and make it. Uh, let's wield it. Uh, the plank, we'll just go ahead and drop that. And yeah, we're looking quite stylish, I would say. Um, let's see, we're hungry and thirsty. Uh, we probably need some things like water. That should be okay. We need like some fire source. Uh, we should have plenty of food laying around. And let's just check. Um, yeah, you can't get sufficient leverage to open that with your makeshift crowbar. That's super lame. So now, I mean, I guess we could make some makeshift lockpicks. We still would have had to bash in the door, but yeah, maybe we'll give that a shot. I've never really messed with those. Uh, but it might be something that we look into. Um, I'm not really into gathering food yet. Uh, just maybe if there's something interesting, we'll grab it. Um, it's not going anywhere. There's another sewing kit. Uh, let's see. Can I unload the that sewing kit? And we'll leave that there. And uh, we'll just grab we'll just grab the thread. Um, okay, no, there it is, right there. We'll just go ahead and drop that. Another one. <laughs> no, that's my inventory. Never mind. Uh, they got flipped. Yeah, there we go. Okay, I got confused there for a second. A duster. Ah, uh, we can make those. All right, uh, a lot of books here. Anything? Uh, a couple sewing books. I don't think we... I think we're probably advanced beyond what those books will give us, but, uh, well, you know, we'll hold on to them. Uh, let's grab the nails. Actually, let's... We'll leave the door hinges behind. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab that stuff, and let's head down here and uh, see if we can't make some lock picks. Uh, nails, planks, thread, splintered wood, we will leave there. Uh, let's drop the books as well. Uh, yeah, get rid of the, get rid of that sound. And let's make, let's see, I guess that's going to be other, that's going to be tools. Um, improvised lockpick. Yeah, let's make a batch of maybe like five of those. Uh, let's see. Let's 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 no, let's do it this way. All right. Uh, the lock stumps me. All right. Uh, can I do it again? And again, and again, 
and again. <laughs> I wonder what skill this is increasing. If it's increasing a skill at all. Uh, let's take a look and see if we could possibly guess. Uh, crafting objects, probably not. Survival, maybe I could see. Uh, do any of these uh, mechanics. Uh, that's bumped up to 16%. Okay, we'll watch that one. That, 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 that could possibly make sense. And I forget if there's a button to uh, to basically just use the last thing that we did. Um, that didn't work though. <laughs> that didn't work at all. Uh, but let's double check here. Mechanics is up to thirty percent. So yeah, that's definitely it. Uh, well, I have another lock pick that should work. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of that. Uh, glass jar. I'm going to go ahead and take that. We'll go ahead and fill it up with water. Uh, lots of food and food-related items. Ah, there's a lighter. Uh, I want that. All right, so now we should be set as far as water stuff is concerned. Um, let's see, I think that gives tailoring skill. Ah, uh, we'll grab it. There might be some kind of uh, fun little recipe in there. Uh, okay. Uh, books, fabrication books. Fantastic. More sewing books. Uh, Art of glass blowing. I remember uh, we needed that book uh, in the last series, and uh, it took a little while to find it. I think we found it right before the whole game uh, just died. I'm smashing that an extra time, and I'm not meaning to do that. Uh, thread will take... A uh, dust mask. <laughs> Can we wear that? Seems fitting in the time that we are living right now. I'm doing it more for novelty than anything. Uh, let's see. Heavy sticks. Are those the ones or is it long sticks? I think long sticks are the ones that we need for a lot of recipes. Heavy sticks, I believe. Uh, paramedics. That's good. Cough syrup. We'll take... Uh, more thread. Uh, leather pants. We'll grab those for the leather patches. Mini uh, book there. Unfortunately, none of those are, are really, really good for us. Another top hat. <laughs> A lot of fancy people live in here. A pressure cooker. Very good. Another sewing kit. Uh, Bowyer's buddy. I'll definitely take that. Uh, some mushy bird eggs. Probably should make an omelet here fairly soon. Uh, let's see. We already looked in there. Antiseptic. I'll take that. Uh, cargo pants, polo shirts, beauty magazine, uh, duct tape. All right, and uh, boy, up there, that's where the bad guy was. Uh, 
Uh, there's not really any place to run. Just kind of trying to think this out here uh, before we go in and open that door. Prussian blue, we won't need that for a while, but um, boy, if we don't run across any, we're going to be glad we found it early. Uh, bandages, very good. Is that electric blanket? Yep. Fedora with some more leather pants. Um, ankle socks. All right, and uh, boy, he's uh, wanting to come through now. Hmm. Um, all right, this episode's gone on a little while. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here uh, on a cliffhanger. <laughs> What's on the other side of the door? Um, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I will see you in the next episode. Have a good one.